the pitch at W. Michael Ross Stadium on the campus of CBC High School for today's Misha TV broadcast of District Soccer. The Class 4, District 5, District Semifinal between the CBC Cadets and the DeSmet Spartans. My name's Randy Molman, Randy Gardner alongside. And uh, Randy, my first question for you is, when was the last time a broadcast anywhere in the country had two Randys doing the game? Today. <laughs> <laughs> Today is right. And uh, we're happy to bring you the broadcast here on Misha TV. Of course, the game produced by the Cadet Student Network. And so we thank the Cadet Student Network for all the hard work they do, of course. Um, uh, Randy, battle of the last two Class 4 state champions. DeSmet won it last year. CBC beat DeSmet to win it in 2018. Two, this is could be the biggest rivalry in soccer in the St. Louis area. Not only soccer, but football also. So much pride amongst both schools. They both respect each other, both in football and soccer. We're going to see that on the pitch here tonight. Uh, the viewers, I'm sure, are seeing a little bit of a hazy <laughs> viewing signal right now. Don't adjust the TV or the That's computer. Right. The sun is glaring straight into our eyes. We've got our hands over our eyes for even us to be able to see this. So just hang tight. If it's a little tough to see the ball, the first uh, part of the first half here, we'll, uh, as soon as that sun goes down behind those trees, we're good to go. DeSmet has won six total state championships. CBC has won ten between the two, 16 state titles, and five of the last ten Class 4 state champions come from either CBC or DeSmet. To say that they dominate the soccer scene in this area would be an understatement. DeSmet with the opening kickoff, and here we go at CBC High School. DeSmet trying to maintain control. There's a kick ahead for the cadets. Here's number 10, Brendan Shamel. A back pass to number 4, Morrissey. And DeSmet working their way up the field. CBC wearing the white. Home jerseys, the gold shorts with the purple trim. Now the cadets gain control right at about midfield, and here comes CBC far side looking for an entry. But DeSmet gets the turnover. This is going to be a game ready of composure, I think. The, especially for CBC, you come in after a down part of the first part of the season. And once districts start, it's it's a whole new ball game for everybody right now. The team's really high coming off that big 3-0 win against Oakville. So the team that can compose themselves the most, I think through the first part of the first half, is the team that's going to come out ahead. Into the goal mouth and a save there by the Cadets. That's Luka Vitovic, the goalkeeper, starting goalkeeper, number 28 for CBC. And he punts it away. Bounces right at around midfield. And CBC trying to get control to Smet. Kicks it in, and now CBC back on defense. This is number four trying to control it for the cadets. That'll go out, and I don't know if that'll be a – yes, that'll be a kick for the cadets as it was knocked out past the goal line there by DeSmet. Vitovic drills it up the field. Earlier here in the first half, it looks like CBC's playing up almost a flat four-back system. Hard to tell with the movement here. Maybe three across the back. Or DeSmet with the throw in. This is Shamel to number 12. That was, I don't know if that was McAvoy or number seven. That was 17, Monsheen. But now CBC throws it in. Thrown in by Sinak. Sinak with the left foot ahead. Looking for number seven. That's Caden Smith. He's fighting for it. But DeSmet toe taps it away, and here come the Spartans. Ahead, looking for number six. That's Munweller racing for it, but Alex Peters is back for the cadets on defense to kick it out of bounds. Another big key tonight here is going to be who's going to win that midfield. I think the control of the midfield will once again dictate how this game is played and ultimately dictate who's going to win this game. Um, Marco Anik in that midfield right now, a great distributor of the ball. If he can just take his time, take control of that midfield, play the ball out wide, work the ball down the wings, and play the ball across, which is a style that coach likes to play, we can be successful. CBC 1-4, DeSmet 6-1, but as you said, new life when districts start. 
And CBC with the big win at Oakville the other night, or a couple weeks ago, I should say, a three to nothing shutout. Yeah, that was something this team needed late in the season. Trying to uh, reverse the head. There's a shot on goal, and Vitovic with the save. Right at about head level, heading to the far post, and he made a nice save there. He'll swing it out to number 14. That's J.D. Brewster for the cadets. It's going to be DeSmet ball here. It's like a free kick. Coming to take it will be Alex Peters. Peters, the junior, the junior backer. Sends it all the way across the field, looking up at that right wing, looking for number 17. That's Andrew Muth. Muth toe taps it ahead, looking for the give and go. Muth didn't get there in time, and here comes DeSmet the other way. Nice defensive play there at midfield for the Cadets. Ball is sent ahead, but it's going to roll all the way out of bounds past the goal line, and it'll be a goal kick for the Spartans. I think it's important right now that you utilize this sunlight in the keeper's eyes, no matter whether you're DeSmet or you're CBC. Utilize from the far side of the field across to this side of the field as far as driving that ball down in the corner, trying to drive the ball across and get the keeper's eyes up into that sun and, and make the keeper make a save. Look for a uh, deflection. Kyle O'Shea is the starting goalkeeper for DeSmet. He drills it up the field with the right foot. O'Shea this year has not lost. Two wins, no losses, no ties. Hasn't allowed a goal yet this year in 184 minutes for the Spartans. We have a throw in here at Sinak for CBC. Good long throw, but there were four Spartans right there in the neighborhood. However, CBC maintains control. Now DeSmet has it, but here's number seven. This is Smith, lost it. Now number 10 takes it, Brendan Shamel for the Spartans. There's a toe tap in the middle of the field, but kicked away by the Cadets. There's a header, racing for it is CBC, but it's kicked back by the defender, oh. and wow, Kyle O'Shea with a back header over the goal post. Wow, that, that was close. Uh, when the ball's played back to the keeper from your own player, you're not able to use your hands. What, what awareness by him to, to head that ball over the goal. So it'll be a corner kick for the cadets. You know, and you look at, at, at some of these games when you got teams matched up like this that are so evenly matched, per se, that one mistake or one advantage, something on like a play like that can make a huge difference in a game, especially early. Sets the tone. Corner kick was blocked off the shin of a DeSmet defender and kicked out by the Spartans. Goes out of bounds. It'll be a CBC throw-in. Taking the throw-in is Jake Senak for the cadets. Off the chest, but DeSmet kicks it the other way. Now CBC holds it in. Trying to break out for DeSmet was number 16, Anthony Gruy, but that ball was booted back up the field out of bounds by Dylan Weiss out of the touch line. And it'll be DeSmet throwing it in for by number 17, Ty Monchin. Both teams still feeling each other out a little bit here. Oh, right that's now. exactly what I was going to say. Right <laughs> now they, they are feeling each other out. You know, you're, you're looking for that space in the midfield. Do we slow this game down? Do we try to string some passes together? Do we try to play that through ball like you're probably going to see right here? This is a left-footed left kick by Brewster. Tried to cross it through, but now DeSmet takes it. Here comes DeSmet the other way with a head of steam. That's number two racing down the field. Thomas Redmond, DeSmet's leading scorer. It's all right. Obstruction foul there. That's a yep. professional foul. You take that where you, where you can get it. You slow him down. It's nothing dangerous. You get your defense set and back. Yeah. That's a smart foul. Redmond has taken 11 shots, scored five goals this year, three assists. He has 13 points on the season for the Spartans. And he was slowed down there by Peters. Well, the foul on Peters, I guess. So number eight, the left-footed kicker, Carson Wilhelm, bends it in, and it's 
Toe tapped out by CBC, and now here come the cadets the other way. Off of a DeSmet defender, and there's a whistle. Not really sure I wasn't watching behind the yeah, play. I Maybe a shirt sure tug or something like that after the play, after the ball had left. It'll be a DeSmet free kick here. Or, I'm sorry, CBC. The sun's getting even worse. <laughs> Randy and I, if, you, if you're picturing us, we've got our <laughs> hands over our faces and we're. Ball is drilled all the way and that'll roll harmlessly out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick for the Spartans. You know, you talk about this on the football broadcast with mm -hmm. Chris, but you, you, CBC comes into this, this game and you've had a turbulent season. You've been on, you've been off, you've lost, you, you, you won last week. It, it's just the emotions are all over the place. You don't know really where you set as a team. Yeah, I mean, when you're only playing seven games, that's how many DeSmet played. CBC only got five in. So when you talked at the top, I mean, it is uh, wide open. The tournament, when you get to this point in the season and now you start district play in the playoffs, it's wide open for everybody at right. this point. Mindset-wise, you come into a game like this where you look at the team that you're playing They've lost one game, and you've lost many more than that. You tell yourself exactly what you said, that it's a new season now. Start of districts brings a whole new season. It's all about mindset right now. Here comes DeSmet. Peters got in front of number 16, Anthony Gruy, and knocked it away. And good defensive play there by Peters. He's had a couple so far. He's, doing, he's had the obstruction foul that caused the kick, and then uh, – uh, good defensive play right there to knock the ball out of bounds. Yeah, CBC doing a good job getting numbers behind the ball. CBC and DeSmet live here at W. Michael Ross Stadium. And first round of districts, technically the district semifinals. There's only four teams in each district. But the Class 4 District 5 semis here today. The Between. winner will advance to Wednesday night, 6 yep. o'clock. They'll play the winner of Priory and Marquette, Marquette mm -hmm. who play after us here tonight. Marquette is the number two seed, Priory the number three in this district. Peters drives it in, but that's headed out by DeSmet. And now the Spartans try to gain control, and they're going to call that on the cadets. Foul there on CBC. Yeah, referee doing a good job keeping this game nice and under control right from the beginning. These are This is one of those games, a rivalry game that can get out of hand really quick. So we're just setting that tone early, calling maybe some some fouls that you might let go here and there. There's a give and go for DeSmet trying to work it close to the goal mouth of the cadets, but knocked out there, kicked out by Jake Sinak. And now CBC trying the other way. Here's number 12 chasing after it, Ethan Mayo. And yellow. there's a foul on the DeSmet defender. That's a yellow defender. card. We talked about a professional foul down here where you just step in front of them, right. maybe run them off the ball. It's going to be a yellow card on DeSmet. I think he pulled the wrong card out first. And that was what the roar was from the crowd. <laughs> Even I was surprised <laughs> about that. I, I bet you he was surprised when he saw that red one come out. But um, – Yellow card, he'll have to come off the field now. But That was number uh, nine, Andrew Freund, who gets the uh, yellow card, and Ryan Velker will come in for him and play that left backer position. Yeah, again, a professional foul. In the soccer world, that's, that's a foul you've got to take mm -hmm. right there. So Peters will take the free kick now. And this is where I talked about earlier, using that sun to your advantage. You can see the keeper's got the sun directly in his eyes from where the ball's at right now. Peters approaches. Here we go. Drills it towards the net. It's going to be high. Flies over the goal and will cross the goal line, and it'll be a goal kick for the Spartans. You know, he's looking to drive that ball to the back post on a floater there. Mm -hmm. I've, I've said for years, and then the way I coach my boys is, you know what, you're 20, 30 yards out. Light that ball up and make the keeper make a save. Test them, make them make a save, and then look for a rebound. CBC toe tap ahead to number 14. That was J.D. Brewster. He tried to get it ahead, but DeSmet is there. Spartans ahead to number six. That's Munwiller. Munwiller gets it knocked away. And here's number 20, Velker, who just entered the game. Dri dribbling it far side. Got it ahead. 
CBC defender there, Andrew Muth, taps it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for the Spartans. No score. We're in the first half of this district semifinal between long, long, long time rivals, DeSmet and CBC. They've won five of the last ten Class 4 championships. These two programs dominant in the soccer scene here in St. Louis. It's a shame they have to play this early in the playoffs. Yeah, my, I was going to say my assistant coach for my older boys team is a DeSmet, coach for DeSmet list. Uh -huh. uh, a couple of years ago, went to DeSmet, and so it's always a, a fun practice because I wear my CBC gear, he wears his <laughs> DeSmet gear. So tonight was a lot on the line for pride. Caden Smith trying to chase that one down, can't get there, and there's a steal, but a bump by the DeSmet defender. CBC trying to stay on the ball, but there's a nice play there by DeSmet's number 14. Look, I think that's number 14, Gamma on the far side. Trying to pick up that number there. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for the Spartans. Randy, as we get older, the numbers seem to be getting <laughs> smaller, get smaller, and the and sun doesn't help. And less clear. Even with the glasses, Randy Gardner. Well, I can tell you over the past couple of years, CBC has had those white jerseys with the yellow stripes uh -huh. with the yellow numbers. Oh. We couldn't see anything. <laughs> even with binoculars, we would have viewers calling going, you don't even know your own guys. <laughs> we can't see them even with binoculars. Ball is off the right foot of Muth, and it'll be another throw in for DeSmet as they now cross in front. There's a clear shot, but he misses it. Wow, a clear shot coming in by Shamel, and he missed it off sort of the side of his foot. He didn't get his toe underneath it. I think because his eyes became this big around. <laughs> this, th that's a ball that you lay up at night dreaming about, bouncing right to no you. No defender in front, of, in front of you, and the ball's coming. And then you coming. just oh, yeah. overemphasize your, your shot. A good opportunity for Desmet there. Vitovic sends it out. There's a reverse header that goes out of bounds. It'll be a Desmet throw in here by number 10. That's Shamel. He sends it ahead over the CBC defender, Dylan Weiss, but it goes out of bounds. And you know, this game has been fast-paced from the beginning. We're at 25 minutes left here in the first half. Uh, they can't keep this pace up for the, for the entire game. One team is going to have to take and slow this game down and start working the ball. You see early Desmet trying to work the middle. Desmet, or, uh, Desmet trying to work the middle. CBC a little more occupied in working the outside. Mm -hmm and trying to work the ball down and in. Be a CBC throw in right here by Brewster. He's going to now hand it off to Jake Sinak. Sinak to Brewster. Reverses it. There's a one touch up to number seven. That's Caden Smith. And then now it's back near side to Brewster. Off of number 10 for DeSmet Shamel ahead and then knocked out and a whistle. There's going to be a foul on DeSmet. It'll be a CBC kick. And as usual, Alex Peters taps it ahead here to Brewster. DeSmet controls now. Shamel, good footwork there. Now fires it up. Looking for a sprint out, but it rolls all the way to the goalkeeper for CBC, Luka Vitovic. Yeah, even with CBC playing five deep, DeSmet trying to look for that through ball quite often early here, and that's one of those things that it just takes one time Number for that ball to sneak through. Marco Anik sends it up. CBC trying to control and work it in close, but they can't. It's now DeSmet in control. Thomas Redman, their leading scorer. Lost control of it. Good defensive play there by number eight for CBC. Behind the play, Marco Anik. Now it's up to number 12. That's Ethan Mayo. Tapped it back to Smith. Smith now to Bartoni. Sends it right side. Looking. There's a left-footed shot. Dribbles past. And on the near side of the post, it missed. And a smart play by the goalkeeper to let it run out, roll out of bounds. Actually, I think it deflected off a... The Smet defenseman, okay. the corner coming up so here. So it'll be for, a corner kick for the cadets. And I think the sun has gotten down far enough where it's not in the keeper's eyes right now. So it's not going to play as much of a factor as it could have maybe five minutes ago. Some substitutions for the cadets. You'll hear their names 
as we go. Looks like number 13 checks in for CBC as well as number 25. That is Dylan Burkett and Will Brackett, I think, 26 checks in. Mayo from the corner drills it across, and it's headed back the other way in a roll out of bounds. It'll be a CBC throw in on the near side. Nice defensive header there just to clear that ball, get it out of danger. There's a cross in front. CBC came across. There's a shot that goes way wide and high. Another one of those like down yeah. at the, the Smet in where that ball comes to you and you just. Took a fucking bounce, I ready, think, on bracket. Yeah. Ready to go, yep. I want to say thanks to Braden Paulus, who's working all the controls tonight. We've got Charles Bryan up top working the main game, game camera. And um, field camera, we have Drew Hammett, who shoots uh, game camera for football. Great job by those guys. Ooh, there's a steal. Good anticipation by DeSmet. But coming back to save it for CBC was number 14, J.D. Brewster. Now it's ahead. This is number five. This is Dylan Weiss working it. He sends it up. Here's Bartoni now. He gets it taken off his foot by Shamel and DeSmet the other way, trying to send it through, looking for that through pass. They couldn't get it through. CBC defense doing a nice job. Jake Sinat clears, looking for a CBC attacker, but it's... Kicked away by number 13, Dylan Burkett rolls out past the goal line. It'll be a goal kick for the Spartans. Yeah, CBC early, a lot of pressure. You can see no matter where the ball goes on the field that they're trying to get at least one guy, maybe two guys uh, pressuring that ball, looking for that mistake. Uh, I think the first goal here is crucial. Whoever scores this first goal uh, is really going to set the tone for the rest of the game. Big kick there by O'Shea, sends it up. DeSmet hasn't been able to control the ball down in the CBC end. That ball is, there's a foul on CBC. It'll be a free kick for DeSmet, I think. I will tell you, though, Randy, if, if you didn't know which team was, had one win and which team had six or seven wins, I don't think you could really tell right now. Both, both it's this been game very well even played, so yeah. far, for sure. They blew the whistle. That'll be a CBC throw in here near side. Brewster will throw it in for the cadets. Nope, they're going to hand it back off to Sinak. Sinak throws it. Trapped by number 13, Dylan Burkett, but it bounced off his chest and goes out of bounds. Outside the touch line. Be another DeSmet throw in here. This is number 17, Monsheen. Taken off of his foot there, but couldn't control it, was Brewster. There's a back pass for the Spartans as they try to control it here. No score. Under 20 to go here in this first half. Good play on defense there. Coming back to make that play for CBC was number five, Dylan Weiss. CBC with some room. Up the far side, chasing it down is Burkett. Burkett looking to cross. Nice move with the left foot, sends it in front. Tapped out by a DeSmet defender. And now here come the Spartans back the other way. CBC maintains control now. That's number eight, Marco Anik dribbling in. Looking for that cross. Can't find anyone. Drops it off. DeSmet doing a good job. They're well positioned on defense. CBC couldn't find a cross there. Yeah, a lot of composure by DeSmet to work, work themselves out of that. They could have just taken and driven the ball out, but nice touch pass, worked themselves out. And Looking for the run out there to number seven, Veneman. Too far. It'll be a throw in by Sinak of the Cadets. No score. We're right at about 18 minutes to go here in this first half. And this feeling out period has lasted pretty much the entire first half. No great scoring chances for either side yet, Randy. Yeah, they'll, be, they'll come. And in a game like this, it might only be one time. So you've got to capitalize. 
That's why I talk about those free kicks. You know, don't waste one and, and drive it out of bounds. At least make the keeper make a save or put the ball in, in play to get ahead on it. CBC's goalkeeper, number 28, Vitovic, has made uh, a, a nice save. Uh, no real test on the DeSmet Spartan goalkeeper as of yet. Here's a give and go up the far side, but there's number four, Alex Peters. Peters has been one of the uh, stars so far on defense for CBC. He's he's uh, played a really nice first half thus far. If you look right now, I'm not sure you can see in the camera shot. I think we're on a tight shot right now, but you know we, we've got seven guys behind the ball right now. it back to the there's a cross in front but it doesn't come across it sails outside of the goal line so it'll be out of bounds it'll be a goal kick for cbc looks like peters is going to take it now that we're close to 25 minutes into this half i mean i think uh, from the mindset of a cbc player you're like look we've made it through the first half of the first half we're still in this game we're playing well I think mindset-wise, that works in their favor, definitely. DeSmet will dump it in. Peters will wait for it, and it'll roll out of bounds. He'll take the goal kick. No score thus far. CBC and DeSmet. And I think the longer DeSmet goes without putting opportunities on the net and maybe capitalizing, the more frustrated they're, they will get, the more they will push, and that just opens you up for mistakes. weird for me to want be the one to say we're in the tim kylo broadcast yeah booth. that's right we are live in the tim kylo broadcast booth here on the pitch at w michael ross stadium on the campus of cbc high school game broadcast today uh through misha tv produced by the cadet student network and we will be doing that for the remainder of the season both football and soccer as you know, if those of you watching, all of the streaming services are going through Misha TV. If you want to stream, you'll have to go through Misha TV for all of the fall sports playoffs. Football, soccer, volleyball, whatever. And now here comes to Smet. Dribbling in, but that's kicked away, and here come the cadets. This is number 13, Burkett. Burkett with a head of steam. Taps it near side to Court Camp. Court camp now to Weiss. And they'll back pass to Peters, looking to control things. Peters drives it down the field, chasing after it for CBC. He can't get there, and the ball is contested into the corner, still in play, and finally it'll be a throw-in by the Smet. Good work down in the corner by both the attacker and the defender there. CBC, I would say for much of the half, has controlled the ball in uh, DeSmet territory as opposed to the other way around, Randy. Yeah, they're doing a good job in, in their offensive end, or actually the middle of the field to their offensive end, kind of slowing the ball down, trying to slow the ball down, string some passes together, and, and I think that's what's going to be successful. Short, 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 and then drive it through. There's a looping kick that bounces easily to O'Shea. He grabs it with both hands, and he'll punt it from here. Good high kick, looking to get some of the Desmet, Desmet Spartans attackers underneath it, but it rolls all the way down to Vitovic. Vitovic will return it. Takes a CBC bounce. It's headed ahead to number seven. That's Veneman for DeSmet. Sends it over to Miramonte. Miramonte drops it off. Now there's a cross pass near side. Back to Veneman. Veneman will drop it to Monsheen. Monsheen drives it in. He bent it right in. There's a shot by number three, Jack Miramonte, but it goes high harmlessly and it'll be a goal kick for the cadets and we talk about that pressure making a difference with him stepping up into that ball right before he shoots it rushes his shot just enough 
to make him stutter step and drive that ball over the top. If you give him one more step to kind of come back into it and load up, it's a different ball game. Under 13 to go here in this first half. No score as of yet. Long kick there by Peters. Now here comes Bartoni. Sends it far side. CBC trying to work in. Caden Smith was looking for the give and go. Couldn't get control of it. And now here comes to Smith the other way. Spartans have some room. Sent it up to number 15, Pichek. But that's taken by the cadets. Here comes Bartoni again. Bartoni for CBC. With a shot wide. Rolls past Kyle O'Shea. It'll be a goal kick forward to Smet. A great job here on that foul earlier. Body placement. Just getting that half step on them and putting your body out in front of them. Something that all you youngsters who are watching, such an important part of soccer. You can learn to dribble and shoot and do all that stuff, but body placement around the ball is one of the major contributing factors to be successful in this sport. That'll be a DeSmet foul. And learning how to dive. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, that might have been a little bit of a foul, and maybe a little bit more of an embellishment. You've, got, you've seen the game. Oh, yeah. That's part of what is taught at any level. Worked for the cadets there. Caden Smith went down, and he's still struggling. Something got in his eye, it looks like. Yeah, these pellets on this turf. Right. I imagine the pellets are worse for the soccer players than they are the foot. At least the football players are wearing masks. Yeah. Peters is about to take the free kick, but Caden Smith's got something in his eye, and now he's got a teammate over to check him out. And they're going to call for a sub. Liam Jacober came over to look and see what happened. I don't know if he lost a contact or if he got one of those little pellets from the field in his eye or if he's okay. Looks like he's going to stay in the game. Peters will now bend one through. Let's see what he does. He drives ball. it in, and looking for the header was Bartoni. He came across, but DeSmet was there to head it out, and it'll be a corner kick for CBC. That's a great driven ball into the goal. When you float that ball up there, you give the defender enough time to see it and get himself into a body placement where he had that ball. When you drive it in, you make people make a snap immediate decision. Mayo bends it in, and almost a header flying through was Marco Anik. And now DeSmet kicks it out. CBC will hold it in. Liam Jacober drives one towards the net. And on the side of the goal there was a CBC attacker looking to tap it through, but it was just a little too far for him. CBC with a little bit of pressure right yeah, here, Randy. They, they've got to feel good about this. It's nice to hear some fans in the stands. Yes. Yeah, you know, just the the noise. How the Mizzou game's been going? Mizzou's been um, real good, but it's just odd when you have a college football atmosphere that doesn't really have any atmosphere. And now there's an empty goal if DeSmet can cross it. Oh. And CBC number two, Liam Jacober, just got his head on it to make sure DeSmet couldn't take control. Wow. That was dangerous for the cadets. Caden Smith feeds it for number 12. That's Ethan Mayo, but O'Shea comes out to snag it right outside the goal box. Still inside that penalty area, but he was able to grab it before CBC could get to it. This is Anik now. That ball is going to go to CBC. I think it'll be a throw in it. it. It will. Boy, just moments ago, a little dangerous there as Vitovic came way out of his net and a DeSmet attacker knocked it away from him, leaving the goal empty. But CBC got away with it. This is Shamel tapping it ahead. Good play by Peters. Peters has been excellent today on defense. This is Pichek now in the corner. No, I'm sorry, that's Walbert for DeSmet crossing it in front, and it's headed out by CBC. It's going to stay with DeSmet. That'll be a throw-in, and a smart play moments ago by Marco Anik. He and 
Looks like uh, Jack Miramonte were on a collision course to try to head the ball at the same time, but Anik backed off and then went and kicked the ball out of bounds. That throw-in goes all the way in front of the CBC goal, but CBC's defense is there to head it out. And it'll be another DeSmet throw-in with eight minutes to go in this first half. No score. substitutions for both sides. DeSmet has Max Munwiller returning. And for CBC, Andrew Muth back in the game. Backer sends it through for DeSmet, but it's knocked out with the right foot by Court Camp. There's a header. Good pass over here on the near side. And now DeSmet trying to control, put some pressure on CBC. There's a drive towards the goal. It goes wide, and it was knocked out by Vitovic. And he had to, It was the, the shot was wide, but he had to make sure he got his hand on it, and now it'll be a corner kick for the Spartans. Yeah, early in the game, I shouldn't say early. We're ha almost halfway through. Not many chances on goal. Uh, nothing wrong with that shot. Light one up, test the keeper, see what happens. Yeah, no one in front of him. Yeah. It's one of those balls where 50% of the time you maybe shank it, 50% you light it up, and it's a Here's tough Gr save. Gruy in the middle, and Vitovic knocked it out with his right hand. DeSmet trying to control and get a shot off. There's a lot of action. Now DeSmet controls. This is Gruy. Gruy with the left foot crosses in front. CBC defense is there. That's going to be off of a DeSmet offensive player. The fans here, the DeSmet faithful, screaming for a corner kick. And the official, what is the official saying? Yes, it will be a corner. Mad scramble in front of the uh, goal mouth of CBC. How about Vitovic coming out and swiping it away with his right, right hand there? Yeah, so important for... Looking for that back post on the cross. And CBC kicks it out. There's a shot blocked by the CBC defense, and then it's cleared. Good clear there by the cadets. Smet now tries to come back the other way. Knocked out of bounds there. I was starting to say it's so important to talk in the game of soccer, unlike a lot of other sports. Uh, you saw that right there in front of the goal two the Spartans were ready to light one up and they didn't talk to each other and they both kind of hesitated. The Smet controls now. Looking for an entry. And that's off the foot of CBC. and It'll go out. It'll be a throw in for the Spartans. Five minutes to go first half. No score. Kicked out again by the, the uh, CBC defense. Terry Mickler's crew doing a good job defensively. I was going to say, th this is a very positive thing for the cadets to go into halftime, hopefully 0-0. Zero, zero. You talk to your team, uh, hey, you've got 40 minutes to go out there and put one in this nut. Long throw in, looking for a header. CBC turns and kicks it out. And to the Smet controlling the play right now. I was going right? to say, it's amazing at this level now to see the strength of these guys being able to throw the ball in. I mean, that's a 25-yard toss. That's going to roll all the way back to Vitovic, and he scoops it up easily. He's going to try to reverse field here for CBC and get the cadets working here offensively, try to get them into the attack area of DeSmet. Chasing it down was Caden Smith. It goes back to the goalkeeper, and now DeSmet will send it up. That's Shamel. Shamel with the right foot looking for a pass. CBC's there to send it back through. There's another left-footed pass, and there's Peters again for CBC. Good play, stepping in front of the DeSmet attacker. Now there's a pass coming here near side, but DeSmet's there. Spartans reversing... Momentum here now at the midfield circle. 
working it into the CBC zone. Far side on defense, nice play. Tapping it, toe tapping it out of bounds was Andrew Muth. It'll be a throw in for DeSmet. Or are they saying it's off of DeSmet here? You talked earlier about Peters being everywhere. It's kind of hard to, I've been watching him. He's been up and back. I can't tell if he's playing a, a deep sweeper position or if they're playing four across the back and letting him roam up a little bit because now he's going deep, but then he'll pull up almost like a offensive or a defensive midfielder at some times. There's a cross, a little tap to number four for the Spartans. That was Morrissey, but ball is out of bounds. And it'll be a corner kick off of the CBC defender. Should be a corner kick here for DeSmet from the far side. We're approaching two minutes to go in this first half. It's a 0-0 game. You think Friday night will be a 0-0 <laughs> game with two minutes left in the first half? <laughs> That is doubtful <laughs> as CBC and DeSmet tangle again, this time in football on Friday night. There's a corner kick looking for that big header and off the top, skips off the head of Andrew Morrissey and rolls out harmlessly. So it'll be a goal kick for CBC. Yeah, Friday night early in that one looked like it's going to be a shootout between us and Marquette. It did at first, and it was in that first quarter and a half. And then DeSmet, or CBC rattled off 35 straight points and won running away. That header previously by DeSmet was by uh, Roschke. That was not Morrissey. My fault there. Here's Bartoni now. That ball's kicked away. And now DeSmet trying to move it forward. Stepping in front. Trying to tap it ahead was Dylan Weiss. Goes out of bounds. It'll be a DeSmet throw in. Approaching a minute to go in this first half. A district semifinal between CBC and DeSmet. Live at W. Michael Ross Stadium. Here on Misha TV. The Tim Kylo broadcast booth. Game production by the Cadet Student Network. And here comes Thomas Redmond. DeSmet had numbers. CBC races back on D. There's a oh. shot around Peters, but it was wide. And the, uh, the positioning of Peters helped on that play. Yeah, great shot there. Great effort in releasing that ball quickly. It's one thing I try to teach my all my guys is, hey, don't take that extra step. Hit that ball on the half step and surprise the keeper. And that's what you saw right there. And how devastating could it be for either team, for the other team, if they score with under a minute to go in the first half? I mean, that, You know as a player, it's yes. so demoralizing after you've competed evenly for this amount of time. DeSmet now trying to rush ahead with 15 seconds to go in this half. Cross. Controlled now by DeSmet. Looking for the cross. They center it, but knocked away. Good defensive play there for CBC, and that's going to end the first half. There's a throw in with a second to go, and that will end half number one. No score. I would say the chances are fairly even. DeSmet's probably got a couple of more shots towards the net, but I would say this first half was fairly even, Randy. Yeah, CBC's got to be happy to go into this half. Uh, in the second half, 0-0, zero, zero, 10 minutes to sit down and talk about this one. If you're DeSmet, you know, you say, hey, look, our season's on the line right here. These guys want to beat you. It's a big rivalry uh, for both schools. Both teams want to win this one. Go out and do it. Coach can't tell you what I mean, they tell you what to do, but as a coach, they cannot get on the field and do this. You as a player has to do it. And it would it. sting even more being the defending state champs and losing in the first round of the districts yeah. to your arch rival. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, and it's true on the other side as well. Right. CBC doesn't want to go out this way either. So we're at halftime. My name's Randy Molman, Randy Gardner around, alongside. You're watching uh, District Soccer here, CBC and DeSmet on Misha TV, brought to you by the Cadet Student Network in the Tim Kylo Broadcast booth. We'll be back for the second half shortly. 